Oh, I should have healed too. I'm getting stressed out if you couldn't tell in the friggin' si Oh my god, no. Mm, gosh. Crap! Hello and welcome back to LB's LP of Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last episode, we journeyed through the Kabombo Mountains in our search for peers, and we did not find him. But we found this place, which is where we're going today. Hopefully, uh, there's some correlation here. We're in Kabombo. Okay. And the inn has a fire in front of it. The general store has a fire in front of it. This person's house has a fire in front of it. What do you say? If the great Gabomba's mouth doesn't open, Akafubu must not yet be a true witch doctor. Who dat? Oh, there's a totem pole. Look at this. Oh, there's a ceremony happening. What's, what's, can I not see? You guys are being very rude to me. Why can I not? I am a visitor. All right, I, I deserve the utmost hospitality. But can I have the jar? Uh, yes, I will I will take your pepper, lady. She's like, wait, I was saving that for dinner. No, <laughs> your dinner is null and void. Takafubu has tried this before, but he's always failed. Tonight is different, though. With this new gem, he may succeed. He got the black gem that he stole from Piers, huh? And what's his pepper do, huh? Boosts luck. Who is the unluckiest among us? Uh, definitely Felix, by a huge margin. Rub that pepper right in his eyes. Do it now, Jenna. Yay! He's just as lucky now as Sheba! Or wait. Hey, no pushing. You're not going to get any closer with all these people packed in here. Can I do something about this? Can I push one of these out? Can I create a tr- When a Kabomba is angered, his eyes glow with rage and fire shoots out of his mouth. Can I like- Oh god! People! There's an earthquake! Run! No. Hmm. Reveal. Reveal nothing. Reveal here. Reveal nothing. Interesting. Uh, I see a puddle over there. Look at that. Someone peed. I'm afraid of what Akafubu will do if he fails the ceremony. Akafubu is attempting the ceremony. Oh, I have performed the same ceremony with no problems. What's holding Akafubu back? I hope the great Kabomba is satisfied by Akafubu's jewel and opens his mouth this time. I don't know about this satisfaction and opening a mouth deal, but you guys keep on, keep it on. And and help me do something here. Nothing at all, really? Like, there's got to be something. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Excuse my cackle. I just I can't help it. When I see a helpless rope lying on the ground, I've got to lash it. And then laugh as well. And then do nothing at all. Oh, wait, no, go to the right. Okay, let's not get dismayed. Not just yet, LP. We've still got things to jump upon, and by golly, while these legs are jumping, our heart will not be dumping. It will continue pumping, and we will be fist bumping. Hi, dude. Oh, my, I've heard these ceremonies. Oh, foreign deities are so frightening. Huh? Oh, welcome. You, you, you want something? <laughs> I'll, I'll cure your poison right here, right in front of everyone. No, thanks. I'm good, man. I'm gonna go this way. And then... Oh, wait, no, I don't... Do I even want to go down here? Why is there a... This is actually very peculiar to me. What do you have to say? He who is the witch doctor of Kabombo holds the most revered office in our whole town. I mean, this is the only way we can talk to some of these people. Akafuba looks really confident tonight. I think he just might succeed this time. Well, I hope so, I guess. I'm still very perplexed as to why I could go down there. I don't know. Do I hope he succeeds or not? What are, what are his motivations? Can I jump on the building? No. That would have been neat. And I can't actually do anything here. Oh, I can jump on this. <laughs> Fascinating. So then what's the purpose of the water? The water looks like it's a hindrance in getting here. But it's not. At last, the sacred night has come. He's got a sweet fro. Look at that. It looks like a giant friggin' meatball on his head. My god. Tonight, Akafubu becomes Kabombo's new witch doctor. All of you pray in the depths of your hearts for my success. <laughs> they did the wave! Yeah! <laughs> we love you, dude! We go buy chili dogs and $27 beers. It's gonna be great. It looks like the initiation ceremony is beginning. I'm not sure what will happen, but we'd better hurry, Felix. Yeah, who dat? Who, who dat up here? Oh, it's Piers. What's up, dud? Uh, who, who are you? What? 
What are your intentions? It looks like Piers has already forgotten us, huh? No. Yes, of course he has. I know! We met Piers when he was in jail! And it's not like he had lots of visitors either. Wait a second, I know you. You're the travelers who came seeking me when I was in jail! Yes, so you do remember. <laughs> what are you doing in this place? Actually, that's what we wanted to ask you. We were worried about you, Piers, so we followed you here. And that's what brings you to this dangerous place? What's that supposed to mean? We came here to help you, Piers. Why are you being like that about it? Uh, tell me something. Exactly when did I ask you for your help? Silence. I shall now present our jewel to the great Gabomba. Lift. Here you go, Gabomba. Look at it. It is the largest black licorice jelly bean that we could find. Oh, great Gabomba, please accept this, our humble black licorice gift. He launched a mighty piece of dandruff, flew from his meatball hair, and Gabombo's. Oh, Gabombo opened his eyes. Jiminy Christmas, that's scary. <laughs> Look, the great Gabombo has noticed the light of the jewel. Man, Gabombo, had, Gabombo got to chill out a little bit. Gabombo got big crazy eyes there. Why, great Gabombo? You want him to open his mouth? Why don't you bring him like a burrito or something? You're bringing him a giant friggin' bowling ball. Like, he gonna open his mouth for that? Well, I wouldn't open my mouth for that. Someone bring this giant ball in my No, tacos, a ramen, maybe even a nice, like, bowl of fruit. Come on, man. Your prayers were weak. Open your hearts and your pockets to the great Gabomba. Sing your praises and dance for the great Gabomba until your prayers reach his ears. We love you, Gabomba. Akafubu is no witch doctor. He's an adept. I may have to convert. I may have to confront him to get my orb back. I may have to fight. I will do whatever it takes, but I will have my black orb back again. Hmm. It's no use. We can't get to Akafubu from here. Maybe I should just throw a rock and bounce it off of his big meatball forehead. Well, that won't work either. What are we going to do? We can't get over there. Piers is in trouble. Shouldn't we try to help him? <laughs> Maybe if we could do something about that stump, we could reach the backside of Gabomba. I've heard he's been doing squats. We've got to help, huh, Felix? Yes, yes, of course. Then hop to it. Do it now. Oh, hi. The orb is right before me. You're not even looking at it. All right, whatever, man. Look at this. Ha-ha! Move! Wow, we did it! We're amazing! Ha-ha! Now, come on, let's go. Oh! That power! Was that synergy? Yes! I knew it. You knew no such thing. I should have spotted it at once, your adepts! Wait, so does that mean you're...? Yes, my name is Piers, and I too am an adept. To be honest, everyone in Lemuria is an adept, and not just me. What? What's Lemuria? Lemuria is an island that lies in the center of the Eastern Sea. Wait a second, you said Lemuria? I've heard that name before. Of course! It was Lord Bobby! He often spoke to me of Lemuria. Yeah, and he had that orb. He said it was so advanced that we could scarcely begin to imagine what it must have been like. You are correct. My home was and is all that you say. Whoever told you this knows much of Lemuria. But wait, if it's so far away in the middle of the ocean, how come anyone knows so much about it? Well, it's not easily reached, and we Lemurias seldom leave. I cannot imagine how anyone could have learned anything at all about us. Except... Hold on a moment. Bobby. I've heard that name somewhere before. Ricky. Bobby was a Talladega Knights. Well, yeah, everyone knows about Lord Bobby. He's the ruler of Tolby. I've never heard of Tolby until recently I'd never left my home of Lemuria. Piers, are you just playing games with us? Don't be foolish. What would I gain from lying to you? I'm being quite serious. Piers is not playing games, Jenna. You can trust him. Thank you for believing me, Master Sage. Please, call me Creighton, Piers of Lemuria. And I am the one who should be thanking you. You look puzzled, Felix. You are probably wondering what I'm talking about. Yes, they speak now. I thought as much. If what Bobby told me is true, Lemuria is all that remains of a once great civilization. Your friend is correct. In fact, the reason I was sent to Vale was somewhat related to my inability to find Lemuria itself. I don't understand. What was in Vale that had anything to do with Lemuria? Bobby believed that in Lemuria alone, the power of alchemy remains unbound. Lord Bobby had need of Lemuria's alchemy, but despite our effort, we could not find the lost city. 
Since we could not find Lemuria, Lord Bobby sent me to unlock the secrets of alchemy myself. Ah, yes, Bobby, if I recall correctly, a man named Bobby came to Lemuria long ago. He stole one of our ships and fled the isle. Yes, that is indeed the same Bobby. He just always be stealing ships, man. He loves to steal ships. Now, I'm even more confused. This is making my head hurt. I mean, if Bobby really stole a ship from your home, why would he be trying so hard to find it again? I can't expect you to understand, my dear. Lord Bobby's reasons for finding Lemuria are... complex, to say the least. But, but if he already found Lemuria once, why doesn't he just go back the same way? Once you've left Lemuria, finding it again is quite difficult, even if you know where to look. Why? The waters around Lemuria are wrapped in a perpetual fog. It's very difficult to navigate. I remember Lord Bobby once saying something to that effect. Even if one locates Lemuria, getting through the fog itself remains quite a challenge. I don't get it. Why, why can't you just sail straight through it? Well, the ocean currents around Lemuria are swift and treacherous. Only one who can sail a Lemurian ship can complete the journey. But Bobby stole a Lemurian ship from you, right? That means that he can sail it. You said yourself that he used to flee the island. Unfortunately, Bobby was the only one of us who could use the ship. You see, Lemurian ships can only be helmed by adepts, which is why I have to get my black orb back. I must be able to captain my ship. There may be something up ahead on this path. Then let's go. Wait a moment, Piers. We want to help you get your orb back. You intend to help me, Craydon? Well, well, no, not, not me, but these kids will. All right, you see, I'm old, I've got a bad hip, and frankly, I am incapable of actually using synergy or a weapon for that matter. But I also want to see Lemuria, you know, so if you'd allow me, that is, I'd, I'd like to visit. If this is something you would do for Bobby, then I cannot permit it. Wh why not? Bobby is a thief. He is not well loved in Lemuria. It is partially on behalf of Bobby, but there's more to it than that. I want to go to Lemuria so that I can see my full power of alchemy. I want to aid Piers so that he will take us to Lemuria. What are you... Sure. You'll do it splendid. I appreciate your offer, but... I understand, Piers. You're not sure if you'll be able to take us to Lemuria. Is that it? Can we talk about this later? Yes, yes, of course. For now, let's just get that orb back for Piers. We've got our fourth friggin' party member. How's he doing, huh? He's the same level as Felix. Look at that. Jiminy Christmas. Uh, Felix will level up slightly before him, but it looks like he is effectively the s s not quite the second strongest. Jenna's got more attack, but slightly less defense and definitely more agility than Piers has got. PP's situation ain't great either. What does he have for PP as well? Let's, let's take a look here. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I see, I see. He's got Frost, which is what we need. Douse, Diamond Dust, Tundra, and Cool. Cool. <laughs> no, no pun intended. Now, my question is, should we leave? No. <laughs> now that I know the orb is here, I won't leave this village without it. Oh, wait. Wait. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, God. He's gone. We lost him. <laughs> Pierce, come back. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Okay, he's here. Thank God. <laughs> You've come to help me get my orb back. Thank you, all of you. All right, all right, all right, man. I just wanted to use your powers to go get a nice little Jupiter, Jenny, but it seems that you are very much focused on staying here. So we got to dig right there, clearly, or back he Wait, why are we cut scene? It's a dead end. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But this was the only path. Isn't it a little strange that there would be a path like this goes nowhere? Like a bag? It's crazy. I see. Yeah, that's very interesting. Well, that's how it works. You see, these are rocks. Listen up, Felix. Dig there. O okay, yes. I Well, I don't want to... I want to go dig at the other spot first. I mean, I see... I see. What's this? Someone has put something in the ground here. In this statue. Well, take a look. Felix, try using scoop around there. Gosh, j I get it. I get just let. I, 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 did we screw to McDoodle? Did we miss our opportunity to scoop that lone X? I think we may have, which is really freaking unfortunate. Please don't force us to leave. Come on now. I thought so. You thought what? It seems that someone is trying to make a C pad. No, these marks here are to indicate the entrance there, in the center of the design. 
You mean we can go inside the statue? Well, you could at one point. The entrance was probably beneath that stone. I wonder, was this the only one? It seems that way. Man, if this is the only entrance, then I feel bad for the people who built this statue. Why is that? Well, this is the only hole, and there's no way for air to get in or out. It must have been really hot when they were working in there. Yeah, they probably died. I haven't even thought of that. Hmm. We must inspect this area carefully, Felix. Jenna's raised an interesting point. If people did indeed build this, they would not have been to do so without an air supply. I'm all out of love, you know. It was a very good band. They may have opened a vent somewhere nearby, and if so, then there may have been a ladder to enter the vent. We should try to find it. Crichton, there doesn't seem to be anything of the sort here. What were we just looking at? If there's a vent shaft, it would probably be quite old, maybe even buried, just like the marks we just uncovered. I get it. I already know where it is, man. You don't even... I, I was gonna scoop it right quickly, but we can scoop it now, I suppose. So, Sheba, bring out them hands and lift this sands. Boom shakalaka, inside we go. Gabomba statue. We are one with the machination that is Gabomba. Now, question, are there any random encounters here? The, the big old fans. Oh, random encounters, it is a spirit. Can't have spirits. Get gone, power drab. You know what we should have done too? Was keep some items, because what is Piers even working with? Yeah, he's working with garbage right here. My God. No wonder his attack's so low. He could probably be pretty strong if we gave him a respectable weapon. Lo and behold, not the case. We'll just have to wait until we leave here. Maybe even in Kabombo itself. They do have, like, a shot there. And these are going to pull us through, right? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, we're screwed. I'm saying we just go this way if we wanted to. But we're going to go up. <laughs> oh. Oh, a maze. And this guy. Okay. I thought, I thought we were just going to kind of come through the other side, but this seems to be almost a little dungeon, in a way. Felix, check the chest. Oh my god, it was a mimic. Of course it was. Let's just physical attack it into submission. He going to drain our PP anyways. Doesn't matter. We going to hurt you, buddy. We going to get the coins that you have and maybe even a lucky medal, huh? Wouldn't that be sweet? I do think that lucky medals are often the reward for slaying these dudes. Spears attacks to 72 and fells at 400 XP, which levels up Jenna. Mastered the Witch's Flare Storm. Very nice. And a hard nut. Not quite a lucky metal. But I do suppose it's better than nothing. I want to get that chest up there. I know that we have the exit with the ladder, but Jimmy Christmas, what sort of adventure would I be if I just left the treasure? All right, so Felix and Jenna are the two strongest. Felix is definitely the strongest. So I'm going to have Sheba partner with Felix on these sort of encounters. Uh, Felix and Sheba did it. Oh, Piers and Jenna could not. How sad. It's okay, Sheba will clean up your mess. Well done. 102 experience points. Oh, can we wrap around the corner without a random encounter? We can indeed. Checking the chest gives us a bone armlet. What is that? That would be good. Uh, use haunt on a foe. That would be good for her by 14. Oh, gosh darn. I was going to give it to Piers. I was going to give it to Piers. It's fine. Uh, and you equip it. Why that? Why the heck not? Do you have anything else we could give him? Give him the armlet? No, of course not. And I guess, we, yeah, we sold everything extra we had. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And again, we'll just take a, a nice little shopping spree after all of these events have completed themselves. What is that guy on the left? The doomsayer? He's just a negative boy? He's like, oh god, it sucks, everything sucks, the world is- Oh god, I'm getting stabbed! I wouldn't be a big fan either, to be honest with you. <laughs> Alright, bone boy, you go home, boy. And then we can leave. And is there one more- is there one more floor? Is this the extent of it? Ooh, there is a lot more, it would seem. Gears and machinations and a giant screw. Many cogs and wheels. We need to, do we need to time this lash up? There's a rotating cog with the peg that we need to lash. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, that was weird. We, we do need to time it up. Right there should work, I guess. It looks good enough to me. Really? Really, that wasn't good enough, huh? How about there? What is the meaning of this? 
What is the meaning of this? Oh my god. That's a big old... That ain't no salamander. That's a Komodo dragon. All right, we're going to not, not be a fan of that. <laughs> Get rid of the spirit. We decided to have our two strongest double up, and they still could not eliminate him, but the two weakest were able to eliminate the spirit. Funnily enough, Fireball did a lot of damage. Please refrain from doing that again, my scaly friend. Chimney Christmas. And let's let's take a, a second to heal here. Let's just do a cure. Uh, Piers is doing all right. Honestly, cure well for Jenna. And then a I guess a cure well for Felix, too. So what is it? We can't even go anywhere. Can't, oh, we could... No, we can't even go anywhere. I feel like we need to lash that. Maybe I just need to keep trying. Because it seems to me like that's going to be what stops the cogs and stuff from moving. And that will therefore allow us to move through the following area. I don't think that jumping up on there or, or walking up the ropeway will actually help in any capacity. I mean, I guess we could do it and just stand there, but what does that help besides our line of sight? And to complete this, I am actually going to set Lash to R so that I can just try this many times over. Oh, I can try it one friggin' time. Look at that. <laughs> I just love to see it. Now, we can get assaulted by Larry the Lizard here. Sal the Salamander. Get out of here, Palamander. One turn. Pretty strong and only 84 experience points as a result of the fight. Not necessarily a great return on our painful investment. And while we're here, we'll lash the way to backtrack. I can't imagine why we would want to backtrack. But there, there we have it. Oh, hey. How do we make friends with you, buddy? Very intriguing. Sure. More negative Nancys. You gotta go home. Stop that. Don't hit me with your big stick. Very rude. I don't know why you would do that. Um, mm, mm, what, what are we doing here, huh? Wait a minute. What? Do we get a giant screwdriver or something? Because that seems like what we need here. We need to move some of these screws. <laughs> huh. Very peculiar. I... We, we have uh, an opportunity here for a Venus Ginny, which has not presented itself... In a long time, I don't want to leave it behind. But I don't see any way that we could stop any of this crap from rotating. Is there something... Hmm. <sighs> what do we do? Okay. No. But that did help. Uh, I wanted to use a synergy so I could see if any of the, like, screw things ignited. They don't. Maybe we fall down? From up here? Um. Maybe? Maybe? I don't, oh god, this is... This place is big! What's happening, man? We getting all sorts of strangeness here. We'll continue to battle through the random encounters because, goodness gracious, we know... I guess we don't know. But I am pretty... Gosh darn sure that we're going to uh, culminate this whole adventure with a fight with the Witch Doctor. So having experience points would be helpful. Did not want to do that, but whatever. Now I'm over here, so I guess I will traverse back. <laughs> uh, but I am almost contemplating whether or not it might make sense. Oh, Clay Spire even, huh? That's a that's a powerful synergy. Never mind. I was halfway considering using, like, I don't know, something to, to stop the encounters, but we definitely could stand to be stronger. You know what I'm saying? We, we're not necessarily, uh, not necessarily OP. I think we're definitely PP right now. So before we go up that ladder, I just want to poke around back here. Oh, buddy. Look at these demons. Leave. Can't leave. Gosh darn it. Leave. No! Oh, God. We're in too deep. We got to leave now. She was... Let us go. Son of a... Oh, my God. 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 Okay. Fine. We've screwed our noodle and ruined this by taking so many attempts at leaving. Uh, Sheba gets to go first, which means Sheba needs... Sheba doesn't have anything to friggin' heal herself with. Except for her Jenny. And then let's use, I suppose, Dundra. Sure. Heal yourself, Sheba. Barely. 72 HP. That did not do very much at all. I don't know if this is gonna... Okay, cool. 
We eliminated two of the... We eliminated all of them. Perfect. Shiba leveled up two and learned Tornado. 400 coins. I'll take that. Um. What? What's happening here? Oh. Okay. Well, I, I can do that too. <laughs> Thanks for showing me that, Mr. Mr. Rodent. You're very talented. Whee! Look at us turn. We're going to throw up. Oh my god. What happens if we go this way? And what did we miss out on going the other way, huh? Anything at all? Maybe. So we need these gears to to reverse so that they, those ones right there will drop us down with that Venus gin. There's got to be like a big old switch or something around here. Uh, so we missed a ladder? And then another way to the left. We've, mm, we've bypassed a couple things here now. I don't leave. Why? Why you guys not let us leave? You're so rude, it's making us stick around like this. Oh, I should have healed too. I'm getting stressed out if you couldn't tell in the friggin' si Oh my god, no. Mm, gosh. Crap! Pierce is dead! Pierce is dead. Who has a revive? Who has a revive, huh? Who? Revive, revive peers. Gosh darn it. But Sheba's gonna die too. Which is extraordinarily problematic. And how much does that give Pierce? It failed? It failed? What do you mean it failed? We're trying to get the orb back for peers and he's friggin' dead. What? Do we have anything? They can heal? How can we heal? And then... Oh, this is really problematic, dude. <laughs> this is really problematic. I do say so myself, man. Oh, God, gee williger. We don't have anything, do we? Mm. Unless Beers did. No. Beers ain't got crap. All right, well, it's a trio once more. Great. Just, I was starting to get used to the whole idea of having a full party. These enemies got strong real quick. Really did. All right, I guess we go down, huh? Man. All right, I, we are going all sorts of places here, and we are missing things. Maybe not missing things. You mimic? No, got an elixir. It'd be nice if you gave me—I don't know—some like holy water or something I could revive my friend with. And what is that? That's hideous. It's a giant pig demon. Kill it. Kill it right now. Power drive, is that enough to get rid of it? No! Gosh, giblets condemn. No effect on Sheba, thank goodness. Sheba, kill it. Very good. And then now Jenna, attack that! There's some powerful friggin' monsters here. I thought we were doing alright, and I guess we kinda still are since we're still alive, but I really feel bad for Piers, man. We're gonna have to get rid of that. Do we have anything else that can revive? I'm gonna follow. Whoa! He Friggin' Piers has several of his own. Set that and give him sour too. Boom shakalaka. He's got four. My god. And you need a set too. Okay. Well, now we're almost all set. Once we get one more Venus gin here, uh, maybe we can give Piers? I don't think they'll let us give still, but whatever. Wow, two of you Satans, huh? Kill him. Oh, we should have tried to revive Piers try that here in the next turn, because we're going to have plenty of turns. Vital Moon, 31 damage, uh, not nearly as effective as it looked like it may have been. Revive! Revive him! Do it, please! Have an effect on Piers! Yay, he's alive! Thank Giblets! <laughs> now everyone pile drive this big Satan. He's got to go. He's got to go. He's got too many horns, too many wings. Not a fan. All right, it's too much. It's dangerous. And now, another round of curing. Uh, Jenna can stay. Uh, Piers definitely needs it. Come down. Mm, mm, we're going someplace. What's happening here? We got a pound of this, huh? Uh, okay. Pound. Hmm, very strange. I don't know what that meant, but we gotta go back, because this is a dead end. I wonder if that stairway or the ladder that we had bypassed leads us down to the other side of that cog, where we could then uh, 
I guess, un unloose it? I don't know if that's going to reverse the order that it's rotating. But it'll definitely do something, right? Uh, it'll uh, potentially even just stop everything? Is that good? Is that what we want? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Hop over there. Try not to get car sick while we're doing this. Okay. And we go down here. Is this where we were at? I'm getting confused. Oh, God. Thankfully, it's only the one Doomsayer. Get rid of him now before he has a chance to do anything stupid. Yes, there it is. There's our... Well, no, so this goes up. We wanted to go down. Huh. This does not help at all. We can't do anything here. <laughs> this is completely useless. All right, well. Three of you guys. I don't like it when there's three don't like the, the trio. It's, it's hard for me to deal with. Thankfully, we're able to kill one death hand and one bone fighter. The bone fighters, I suppose, aren't necessarily that strong. It just did a total of one damage. But when you get the big Satans or the, the Doom dudes, those people are capable of really hurting you. So it looks like we've done all we can in this general direction. And before we were so rudely interrupted by that rodent, we were going this way. And this feels like... It's useless, but it's not. Ow, oh, it's not. We can go this way. <laughs> What's up, Doom Boom? I'm gonna g give you the doom that you crave. I'm gonna put you right in a grave. Oh! Very nice. One turn down. And now we go down the stairs. This might take us... Yeah, this will take us where we're looking to go. Won't it? Go this way. The cogs are distracting. Too many colors. Golly gee Williker. Big Satan, big Satan. Um... Years and Felix attack Big Satan. It's not going to be enough to kill him, but we're able to get rid of the Doomsayer. And now maybe in this turn should be enough to, to, to quell this boy. Yeah, drain his PP. He doesn't need it anyways. He's dead. Downstairs. Perfect. All right, do you believe this is the way we're going? Why do you got to be so labyrinthian? Oh, oh, three choices. Choose the middle. It's wrong. And these guys are waiting back there. My God. Again, we'll have Jenna and Sheba go Doomsayer since they've proven capable of eliminating him on their first go. And, ooh, 36 points of damage on Sheba by the Red Demon. I don't like that very much at all. Very much at all. No! Uh, ooh, Felix levels up? Hold the phone. Wait a minute. Shouldn't... Oh, he, he was dead. Piers was dead. That's right. I was like, shouldn't Piers have leveled up by now, too? And he has lost ground to Jenna. Jenna is now, I guess, second strongest in terms of experience points. Haha! -ha! As she was always, retained her rightful place. This is, does indeed lead us back here where we get a pound of this. What happens when we pound it? Does the gear fly off? It's flashing. Oh, no, it shifted down. Interesting. I have to imagine that that may have changed the order of the gears that were flowing. Which may, in fact, give us the ability to go get that Venus Ginny. That's exactly where I'm headed right now. <laughs> That's the number one thing on my mind right now, and I'm still trying to not forget about yesterday's Jupiter Ginny back at the uh, the mountains of Kabombo. I'm also not trying to forget to, to heal Sheba, because she do be hurting. I, I'm not going to forget about you, friend, all right? You're, you you are only, only Adept that controls the wind. You, spirit, get out of here. One hit KO. Not quite, but two. That's all right. The only question I have now, though, is whether or not the reversal of the cogs is going to make it feasible for us to get over there. Um, these don't seem like they reversed. Did these reverse? No. Did they? I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell. I gotta go. I gotta go look. I have to. I have to look. I just my curiosity. All right. We definitely did something. I mean, we shifted it into a place and it... Get me up there. Come on. It did reverse it. Look at those. They're rotating towards the chasm. And we need to do the one on the right, I think. Does it matter? I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Whee! Hi. No, we needed the one on, on the friggin' left. Left for LP! And Venus Jenny for me, aka Felix. Hello, don't fight us, just join us, yes? Oh gosh, giblets. Why? You're stuck here. We're here to rescue you, Satan. 
My god, fine. Well, let's just normal attack him until he passes out. It's 63 damage, as, again, I remember it's like 250, maybe 300 points of damage. This guy does seem to have a good amount of defense. We're not doing a whole lot of damage to him. He tried to run! He tried to run! Did you see that? This little gopher? Jenna leveled up to 19. Thank Giblets. And now, finally, Felix joins the ranks of the three plus Jenny holders. My god, I thought for certain he'd be getting way more than he has. It's taken us this long just to even out the teams. Who did he get? He got Steel. Steel, uh, Siphons of Foes HP. So we cannot give. Okay, we need to find one more of any of these flavors, I guess, to be, then be able to give it to him or something. I don't know. Either which way, feels pretty good to have all this. And now we know for certain that we are making some very, very concrete progress in this dungeon. Of course, we're not going to finish it right this second. We are going to finish it next time. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, grab yourself a snack. Go outside. Get some water. And I'll see you next time.